In the United States, about 268 million people listen to the radio each week, according to the National Association of Broadcasters. But with growing on-demand platforms such as Spotify and Apple Music, radio's listenership is declining. Reporter Maria Pham tunes in to find out how local radio remains afloat in a streaming world. Well, my name is DJ Phantom, and you are listening to Concrete and Steel. LSU student Jackson Blackman goes by DJ Phantom on 91.1 FM. When his KLSU specialty show is on air and tuned in, experimental electronic music played through your car speakers. It really allows me to share the music that I'm passionate about. If I find a new artist, I think, wow, this guy's doing some really cool stuff. I love this his work. But for the last 30 years, radio has struggled due to listeners moving to streaming and subscription services. Commuters on their day-to-day -day get their information from the radio through their morning drives or their afternoon drives. But with radio stations slowly dying, that might not be the case anymore. Local radio, I still think, plays a very valuable day-to-day -day, uh, part in people's lives. It's the easiest way to get information. The National Association of Broadcasters say local stations over the air revenues fell 44.9% from 2005 to 2020. And on top of the financial strain, small radio stations face a proposed performance tax in Congress requiring them to compensate artists. And this is more so for the folks that perform the music and the labels that actually represent those folks. Frischer says KLSU pays $2,000 to $2,500 for KLSU's rights to stream for a year. For mom and pop stations, it is higher. To keep local radio afloat, it is up to a dedicated community. Like others, we've had a turn towards philanthropy and fundraising and things of that nature to be able to make ends meet. While KLSU is a nonprofit station, their passionate listener base helped them almost reach their fundraiser goal of $30,000. It was really awesome to hear from all those people who they told us why they were donating, they told us how much the shows mean to us. Blackman says streaming services still can't beat finding new music through local radio. For Tiger TV News, I'm Maria Pham. Two U.S. representatives from Louisiana support the Local Radio Freedom Act. This act recognizes local radio its role in delivering news, emergency information, and entertainment to the community. The House needs only about 25 more signatures in favor of the bill to oppose the performance tax. 